some metals are mysterious. Silver has dressed up princesses. Gold has reinforced the thrones of kings. But silver and gold are rare and expensive. Could men create a metal of their own? A metal so resistant that it could pass unchanged throughout the ages without rust or corrosion. Let's imagine some archaeologists in the future. They are living 3,000 years from now. We know nothing about them. But maybe they'll know something about us. What are they going to discover if they dig into the ground? They will probably find buildings made from an unalterable material, stainless steel. The key point on the beginning of the 20th century is the development of science, understanding phase diagram, thermodynamics, and that was the beginning of stainless steel. This is a pretty recent alloy. So you see, you'll never find any stainless steel artifact that would have been made before the date of 1912. Is it so? In the scientific community, not everyone is of the same opinion. A few corrosion-resistant iron artifacts survive from antiquity. A famous example is the Iron Pillar of Delhi, erected by order of Kumara Gupta I at around 400 BC. But there are others. Stainless steel, like silver and gold, is not attacked by oxidation. It can remain without corrosion for hundreds and hundreds of years. Alchemists have a, a lot of knowledge and they, they, because they, they make a lot of research all the time. But uh, any time when they found something, it's always a secret. It was almost uh, by coincidence that they discovered that uh, a steel with alloyed with chromium was resistant to corrosion. So that we can make alloys which are corrosion resistant and have a shiny aspect. They modified the, the minerals, putting some, a lot of additives and test a lot of things to find their own steel quality. And then after we were going to much more uh, wide range of chemical elements of the Mendeleev table, that we can introduce inside the liquid to obtain specific properties with the stainless steel. In this quest for the perfect metal, what was the motivation of these amazing pioneers? Mainly, their interest was for war. During the Middle Age, a legend was heard talking of um, swords that were cutting like razors and indestructible despite ages of time. They were called the Damascus swords. Maybe these legendary swords could tell us more about the metals that we use today. The idea is to mix different kinds of steel together, welded by forging, and we can consider that sometimes it's better resistant to corrosions. In the 1930s, we had uh, the first duplex stainless steel with a mixture of ferrite and austenite. It's made of 17% of chromium. It can save your life because if you kill before your opponent, you have a good chance to be alive. In the course of their research, scientists stumbled upon a mysterious property of metal. That's one of the most beautiful approach of stainless steel. Can you imagine a steel which has on the skin of the surface a higher chromium content it has the very strange capability of self-healing. If you strike it and create a notch into the surface, the metal will self-generate a protective film that will prevent it from any corrosion. When a human being has a, a, a scratch and blood is coming, uh, uh, naturally the human being is healing his skin. And in fact, with stainless steel, it's almost the same. It's a, a, a kind of magic process. To some extent, Extend, yes, it's a little magical. We don't know if alchemists 
really succeeded to transmute iron into gold. But what we are sure is that their knowledge of elements and of secrets of matter was prodigious. Why couldn't they also have discovered stainless steel? Alchemy, hidden knowledge, the mystery becomes even deeper. We walk in today's trivial world and we realize that it's so full of secrets. According to this symbolic value of metal and alloys for the alchemists during the ancient times, stainless steel would have been one of the most precious and highly valued metals. And what about today? What is the cost of stainless steel? Is it reserved only for famous buildings? That's wonderful because it's not so costly. Industrial conditions permit to produce very abundant stainless steel products. Tooth grades are widely used in applications like uh, uh, cutlery, uh, food and uh, beverage application, like uh, building and construction. Stainless steel is certainly a very good material to use for roof cladding. If you build a roof in the countryside, um, you have almost no big issue and you can easily go with a normal stainless steel for centuries without any problem of corrosion. It's also chosen because of the architectural aspect as it's a very reflective material depending on the weather, the sky, the time of the year. So you have always a different aspect of your roofing uh, cladding. Protection aesthetic. Stainless steel, it's a good product. No maintenance. And so you have a much less cost at long term. And that's clear that all these pieces will stay. The material itself will last forever. So men have finally discovered an almost magical metal that is noble and abundant. It's now available, not only to kings. Do we realize how much of a gift it is? I think nowadays we are more rational, while in the past metals used to have a more symbolic meaning. I must say that from my point of view, stainless steel is a green product. Learn how it will be tomorrow. Even in centuries, man will be able to recover today's stainless steel. What is a roof now may be recycled one day into a spaceship of the future. <laughs>